as you know, VidCon is in about a month, and I am wanting to see some YouTubers. YouTubers are wanting to see me. I have a workshop, and people are, are probably gonna wanna talk to me. One YouTuber, Lauren Fairweather, actually asked me a pretty good question that I thought I should cover, and that is, how do I talk to you and communicate with you efficiently at VidCon? And there are a couple ways that we can go about this if you want to talk to me. One, I can get by pretty well in person depending on the person. There's going to be some people that I understand just fine. Like I had just one friend that I could understand perfectly on the phone. Just one. I couldn't understand my dad all the time, but that one friend I had, perfect. Some people in person I don't understand a whole lot. Like my computer fix it guy who has the beard the length of Santa Claus. I never understand a word he says. Ever. There are some people that I understand them sometimes, sometimes I don't. It all depends on accent, how my ears are working that day. Sometimes they're very good, sometimes they're really shitty. Hearing fluctuates every single day, every single hour. I can imagine VidCon's going to be pretty loud and noisy depending on where we are, so that's gonna, you know, be a part of whether or not I'm gonna understand you. If you're a YouTuber that I watched, your voice, your speech patterns are kind of gonna be programmed in my head by now, so I will have an idea of, you know, how your talk, how your mouth looks when you're saying certain words. So if you see me and you want to say hi, whether it's at my workshop or somewhere else, just come up to me with a simple, you know, hi, hello, how are you? I watched your videos or I saw your workshop, whatever, just something simple. To get my attention, don't, you know, wave up and down, scream at me, obviously. Just, um, you know, tap me on the arm or the shoulder. Wait to get my attention. So if you're like, and I look at you, you know, let me see that you are in front of me real quick. And then just be like, hi. That's pretty much how I tell everyone to do that. If you're going to be at my workshop, there is going to be an interpreter there. And while I'm not fluent in sign language just yet, there may be something that you say that I know uh, how to sign or understand in uh, ASL. So the interpreter could always help. But we don't always need to rely on everybody else. And I'm going to show you an app that uh, I heard of from Jules and Dickie used it in his short film. It's called Big. You type stuff and you click done and it shows up in a pretty big font. The notepad section, that's always fine. Pen and paper is always a safe option but it's slower than an iPhone or whatever so. In a nutshell, just try talking to me and maybe that'll work or just, you know, just type a phone just in case. This is a pretty popular thing that I do. If I kind of stare at you like you had two heads when you're talking to me, I don't think you're a loser or I don't dislike you or it's not that I don't want to talk to you. I'm just kind of like, sometimes I think, okay, maybe I can look at this person for about three seconds and figure out what they said. Because sometimes my brain gets it about three seconds later before they decide to repeat themselves. And I'm like, no, 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 wait, I know what you said now. So hopefully uh, that covers everything. It's pretty simple stuff. If you see me anywhere at VidCon or at Disney Day, Come say hi. I give hugs if you accept hugs. Let's be friends. So hopefully I will see you in my workshop July 24th at room 205, 332, 430 p.m. And I will see you later.